Hey everybody, what's going on? This is SFTB. Saturdays are for the boys. Please make sure to like and subscribe for more content. Anyways, uh, today I want to go over something that in my first day of playing had really been just plaguing me over and over again, and I'm sure it did the same with you guys. You know, while you're out questing, gathering, I'm talking about hunger and thirst. Yeah. Now, first of all, you should have no problem finding a cooking station. They're all over. Uh, from a cooking station, you can boil your water, cook meats, make soup and teas to keep you well nourished, obviously. And why would you do this? If your hunger meter falls too low, you'll start to lose health, so keep an eye on that. However, meat and flora you collect in the wasteland can spoil if kept too long without being used. This means that you'll also need to manage how long you actually carry your food. So, raw meat and flora also take a very long time to spoil at that point. And if you want to see if something is spoiled or not, you can open up your items from your Pip-Boy. You'll go to Aid, and then you'll go down to the S's, go to Spoiled, and hold on one second. <laughs> come on, guys, come on. Yo, I'm trying to make a video here, come on, guys. Where you at? Oh, come here, baby. I got you. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let me get back down here. Okay. All right, so you're going to go into your menu on your Pip-Boy, go to Aid, and then when you go down to the S's, obviously that's where it'll show up because it's alphabetical. So it'll show up as spoiled vegetables, spoiled meat, whatever it is. So I got quite a bit. And that stuff is useful, so don't just throw it away. You can use it as fertilizer if you go to a chemistry station. So definitely use that. And lastly, we have cooked food, which takes even longer to spoil. Giving you another reason to head to a cooking station as soon as you can get there. Uh, canned or processed foods do not spoil at all and can be eaten whenever you want, like dog food or Blamco mac and cheese. And if your thirst meter drops too low, your stamina will decrease. Your AP meter will only let you use a certain percentage of it. Your attack strength from melee attacks will also drop, so keep the meter as high as you can. Water is... And water, water is not the only liquid that can quench your thirst in Fallout 76. There are various drinks made from the flora of the wasteland. Be sure to pick up as many recipes as you can to learn about these drinks. And try to keep in mind, uh, you do get bonuses as well for, you know, maintaining your hunger and your thirst. So, you know, try to do it as much as you can. And so, finding and purifying water is a major part of the game. Uh, the first step is to gather the water, <laughs> which also I do have a tip for that too. If you're, What you should do is not just every now and then keep grabbing water. You should grab it all at once, that way you're you know, getting all the rads at that time. Just pop a rad X. When you do that, you can just pop and pop and keep just keep and pulling up water. Get as much as you can and you know, stockpile it. That way you can have it for later use when you, know, you do actually get some veggies and some things to go with it. All right, so I'm going to pop my Radex. Let's go to aid. All right, and we're just going to stock up here. Collect instead of drink. See, I'm getting less than one rad. So you can just literally sit here and stock up while you have your Radex active. All right, and so once you have collected all the dirty water your heart desires, you're going to need to head to a cooking station to boil that. So we're going to run back over here real quick. <laughs> I'm over encumbered. How, many, how much did I get? Oh, 291. Yeah, I was there for a bit. <laughs> all right. Get on the cooking station, all drinks, and boiled water. And as much, you're going to also need wood for that, so I mean, you can find that anywhere, really. And now you have your boiled water. And it's one of the most important things probably at the cooking station, because you're always going to be using it in a lot of things that you're going to, you know, make. So, 
as a pro tip, I would probably recommend whenever you're, whatever kind of food or, or drink you're making, if you can find ones that have the simultaneous effect where they give you both food and water, they restore it for you. Those are the ones I would recommend making as many of those first before you make anything else. Because obviously in dire straits, you know, you're going to need both food and water. So you might as well get the ones that are going to have both. So also, plants are really easy to find. They're going to be basically everywhere all over the map that you look. And if you're really wanting a good source to farm for uh, meat, Brahmin packs are definitely the best way to do it. Right here on the edge of Flatwoods, if you're heading over uh, yeah, heading over there towards the uh, our agricultural, agricultural Center. <laughs> agricultural Center. Jeez, okay, all right. But yeah, you're going to get Brahmin over here, or if you can find some rad stags running around, that's going to be a big big place to get it too. And you never, never want your hunger and your thirst bars dropping seriously low because this will also increase your radiation damage that you take. You can use perks that increase nourishment or hydration you receive from drinking and eating, or ones that reduce the radiation you absorb from eating bad food. Uh, not paying attention to you know food or water will mean several back and forths uh, to find and cook some. So, or or actually now actually yeah, or it will cause you to eat raw or irradiated things out of desperation, which isn't good either. So be smart, plan ahead, or you'll end up always being frustrated. Anyways, I want to give some final crucial tips. Uh, first of all, each perk pack that you get gives you a stick of gum that slows down thirst and hunger. And then also if you eat or drink something with an effect, like Brahmin steak gives you plus carry weight, then, and if you eat another Brahmin steak after that, it actually cancels out the carry weight, so it deactivates the effects. Um, so you still feel your hunger bar and your health bar and everything like that, but you have to eat a third Brahmin steak to activate the effect of tw you know the carry weight again. So just be you know keep mind of that so you don't freak out because I, I was playing and I was like why does it keep taking off my carry weight because I had like ten Brahmin steaks. Anyway, guys, those are some tips on how to manage your hunger and your thirst. I hope that it helped some of you out. If it did, or if you want to see what's in store next, oh, wow, he jumped out of there fast. <laughs> make sure that uh, you subscribe. Make sure you like the channel, like the page. Leave a comment if you didn't like it. Leave a comment if you did like it. Let me know. And don't forget, Saturdays are for the boys. <laughs>